what are the processes of fame? Why is it that some people are remembered? Why are some people are forgotten? What is the process by which historical reputations decay by time? How accurately are people able to recognize historical greatness when they see it? We are here at the Hall of Fame for Great Americans in the Bronx. Uh, this was built around 1900 as a pantheon to honor America's greatest figures. And this is a good place to talk about our book, Who's Bigger? Where historical figures really rank. Who's Bigger? analyzes large data sets associated with Wikipedia and scanned books to try to analyze who really are the most historical figures. And you know, use that as a lens to try to judge the way history works. The way you would build a model of predicting or measuring pretty much any kind of a phenomenon is you take a bunch of different input variables and then mash them together to get some kind of a single number out of it at the end. Um, the input variables that we're using tend to be um, quantities extracted largely from Wikipedia. Things like how long somebody's pay article is, how many times people read it, okay, how central it is, how many times people edit it. So you can imagine we have computers that do an analysis of um, Wikipedia and related data sources to try to come up with individual measurements that we would think would be correlated with any reasonable notion of what historical significance is. If you do a meta-analysis over all these factors, you get something that's actually pretty accurate and pretty convincing. We've um, taken our final rankings and correlated them against a bunch of different gold standards. Um, poll rankings that people have conducted, that historians have conducted, um, prices of autographs, which reflect in some sense how interesting the person is who signed it, prices of paintings, um, lists that have been published in other books of rankings. And all in all, what you see is that our rankings do a pretty good job because they are a meta-analysis of many different factors. We analyze a bunch of different input variables. And out of it pops two different significant factors. Um, one that tends to reflect achievement-based renown. This is something we call gravitas. And one that reflects basically how popular somebody is. And this is something that we call celebrity. And th these two factors pop out of our analysis. And any notion of historical significance is going to reflect both of these things. A figure like Britney Spears is going to score very, very high in celebrity and less wet high in gravitas. Someone like Aristotle is going to score very high in gravitas, but not very high in celebrity. Um, we combine these two factors into our one final statistic, which reflects what we call fame, and then age it to the correct for the passage of time to our final variable that we would call historical significance. One of the surprises was how universal a phenomena this is. The fact that people are not as good at identifying merit in some sense as they think they are. And this phenomena probably reflects itself on things like college admissions and other things as well. And um, being able to quantify these kinds of things or make them clear is one of the kind of fun and exciting things that comes out of our book. Mm -hmm.